looking like a cross between a zebra and a giraffe, the Okapi, or to give it its scientific name, Okapi Johnstoni, named after a Victorian English adventurer, Harry Johnston. This is the conservation station before the attack. There are only between 10 and 20,000 of these usually solitary forest animals in the wild. The rebels had no particular beef with the Okapis. They killed them as a way of getting at the conservationists. They apparently wanted to scare the scientists away because their presence was interrupting the rebels' other activities, ivory poaching and gold mining. At least five forest rangers or their family members were killed when the rebels attacked and set the conservation station ablaze. All of the captive Okapis were also slaughtered, including a baby animal, the first to be born at the station for a decade. The attack took place in the remote village of Epulu a week ago, but reliable information is only now emerging. The Congolese government army has launched a manhunt, but the forest is huge and dense and the army is stretched. The latest information is that the alleged killers have crossed the river, making the hunt even more difficult. The dead forest rangers and Okapi John Stoney are the latest victims of the Congolese war. Mark Doyle, BBC News.